approach of the midnight hour when the world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. The year is 1947. India has just gained independence, a beacon of hope in a world scarred by World War II. While the world grappled with the horrors of nuclear weapons, one man saw a different path. Homi J. Babha, a visionary scientist. Long before this assessment was made, Dr. Babha had visualized a nuclear power program for India. Nuclear energy could power India's future, lifting it from poverty independence. Babha understood the immense potential of nuclear energy. He envisioned a three-step program, utilizing uranium for initial power generation, then transitioning to plutonium, and finally harnessing India's abundant thorium reserves for a sustainable and clean energy future. However, Babha's ambitious plans faced numerous hurdles. The Cold War cast a long shadow, with the Non-Proliferation Treaty seeking to limit nuclear development in many countries. International pressure and sanctions threatened to derail India's progress. Tragically, both Babha and Prime Minister Lal Bahadur Shastri, who supported his vision, died unexpectedly within a short period. Al Bahadur Shastri lay in state. Mr. Shastri died in Tashkent, Soviet Central Asia. Mr. Homi Jangir Bhabha, father of India's atomic energy program. An untimely death. He dreamt of creating a nuclear bomb for India. These untimely deaths left a void in India's leadership and set back its nuclear program. Despite these setbacks, India continued its nuclear journey. In 1974, the Smiling Buddha nuclear test demonstrated India's scientific capabilities. However, international sanctions followed, hindering further development. Today, India possesses nuclear weapons for defense. However, its nuclear power generation capacity remains relatively low compared to its potential. The dream of thorium-based reactors, a cornerstone of Babha's vision, remains largely unrealized. Why is this the case? Several factors contribute. Geopolitical pressures continue to influence India's nuclear trajectory. International regulations and safety concerns pose significant challenges. And, perhaps most importantly, a lack of sustained political will and investment has hampered the full realization of India's nuclear potential. Yet, the need for clean and reliable energy sources is more urgent than ever. Climate change poses a global threat, and India, with its growing population and energy demands, must find sustainable solutions. Homi J. Babha's vision remains relevant. India possesses the scientific and technological expertise to harness nuclear energy for peaceful purposes. By overcoming the challenges and investing in research and development, India can finally fulfill its nuclear potential and contribute to a cleaner, more sustainable future.